Dear students, are you facing any difficulty of the subject, embedded system design? Don't worry. Here I am coming up with a new strategy, how to crack the subject without any difficulty. Within one day, you can crack it. Believe me, at the end of the session, I promise you that you can clear the subject without any doubt. Yes, let's get started. Please follow up these instructions very thoroughly. Surely, uh, the subject will come to your hand. Don't worry. Yeah, the in the module one, the title was actually, you can refer the syllabus everybody. It is better you can uh, take the syllabus and make a note. Introduction to Embedded System, that is the first module. So the key topics are basics of Embedded System. So what is Embedded System? You should understand it's a computer system designed for specific tasks within the large system. So next is actually the difference between Embedded Systems and a General Computing. So Embedded means specific purpose and a limited sources. General means it's a multi-purpose. For example, personal computer. Classification also you have to study. Standalone, real-time embedded system, the network and mobile. These are the different classification. Do remember the application, automotive, home appliances, medical, aerospace, etc. Next important topic is actually risk and assist processor. Risk is like uh, concerning risk. It's a fewer instruction, but very faster. Example is ARM processor. If I talk about like a CISC processor, there are many instructions. For example, Intel uh, 86 series. Okay, 80, 80, 86, so 80, 85. Okay, those series are basically a CISC processor. There, that is also a very important topic. Kindly make a note. Howard versus uh, Von Neumann. Howard is nothing but separate instruction or data memory. In the case of non Neumann, it is actually shared memory. That point you have to remember. Other one is actually big uh, Indian and uh, a little Indian. So big Indian, for example, uh, most significant best first, uh, least significant best at the last. So that is a strategy you have to remember. Next is microprocessor versus microcontroller. So mu p comprises of only one CPU, only CPU need an external peripherals. If I talk about like a microcontroller, it comprises of CPU and memory plus IO devices, everything will be inbuilt. For example, PIC microcontroller, 8051 microcontroller, etc. If I talk about like a microprocessor, 8085 microprocessor, right? So these points you have to remember. Surely you, know, you may get a few questions based on the fundamentals. This is purely like a fundamental uh, like a module. So definitely you can crack uh, 20 out of 20. There is no, no issues. Similarly, you have to remember sensor and actuator. Sensor means temperature, light, IR sensors. Actuator is nothing but relay and motor, relay and motor. So uh, the sensor will convert uh, the uh, me mechanical quantity or physical quantity into electrical signal. I input output devices, LED, relay, seven segment display, buzzer, switch, these are called IO devices. Communication interferences are like uh, I square C, SPI, then uh, UART, USB. These are called the external communication interference. Onboard communication interference is SPI. So most probable questions are like a define embedded system, compare with a general computing. Very, very important. Difference between RISC and SIS processor. That is also one of the most probable questions in the university questions. Short note on IO devices, uh, LED, bursar, switches, etc. Uh, Harvard versus non newman uh, It's a diagram based. Try to remember the diagram so that you can score very good marks in the module 1. If you maintain very good marks in module 1, there is no problem as the toughness increases. You can minimize, if the mass is reduced also no problem in the further modules. So let us uh, go, go through important concept of module 2. So all, all the points you need to note down and plan accordingly. Embedded system design concept. Here actually characteristics, the real time, reactive, limited resources, reliability. You have to talk about the different characteristics. These are the key points, but you have to elaborate. Quality attributes in price, operational uh, like attributes, performance, safety, accuracy, non-operational means maintainability, testability, etc. A domestic uh, specific system means automotive, industrial, medical, consumer. Hardware, software, core design. It includes simultaneous development of both hardware and software for efficiency. Program modeling methods implies state machines, uh, state machines. Second one is data flow graphs. So try to have a brief note on these topics. Next is firmware design steps includes a requirement, later flowchart, pseudocode, and the testing. You remember these codes. It is very important. These steps. What are the different types of steps involved in the firmware design? Probable questions are, what are the characteristics of embedded system? You please elaborate these characteristics. At least you can note down. If you did not elaborate also, they will give the certain marks for you. Don't worry. 
explain the quality attributes any three points quality attributes operational attributes the non operational you try to talk about these uh, operate like uh, these attributes very uh, crisp and precise manner try to elaborate it if you can so at least uh, five marks means at least one page has to be completed if it is a 10 marks question ten, like two pages you are supposed to fill up next is short note on hardware and software code design these are the important questions from the module 2 i think you people can manage it it's not a big deal within one day that is enough for cracking the subject i can promise you if you follow these instructions no 100 percentage you can uh, clear the subject without any doubt i promise you now moving on to the module uh, module 3 in the module 3 the major topics are rtos and ide okay so here what is rtos it's a real time operating system uh, then it responds a deterministic time what are the types of uh, operating system gpos and rtos a uh, gpos is nothing but general purpose general purpose for example windows uh, rtos means deterministic for example vx works uh, then uh, free t uh, rtos etc comes under rtos task or thread or process task is nothing but small uh, like uh, scheduled unit uh, P po posix thread means example of the light lightweight thread uh, thread uh, uh, pre preemption is nothing but forcibly switching the context that is called thread preemption next is scheduling the technique these are the two important scheduling technique round robin second one is priority based uh, make a note on these round robin and priority based techniques scheduling techniques important it may ask in the examination next task synchronization issue like race condition and uh, deadlock race condition is nothing but two thread access shared data uh, deadlock is nothing but two tasks wait for our uh, resources. You can give the example as well. Probable questions defined by RTOS. Give the two examples. Same question. RTOS, give the two examples. Explain the race condition and deadlock. Here it is already mentioned. What is deadlock? I have written over there. See, deadlock. Two tasks wait forever for uh, like uh, resources. Race condition is nothing but two thread access shared data. At least you can note on same point. Definitely people will give you the marks. Evaluator will give you the certain marks. Don't worry about that. Short note on task scheduling. What is a task scheduling? You can prepare the short notes. For example, see, uh, scheduling. You can talk about the sh scheduling in a brief manner. It is already available there. You do elaborate it. If you, if you are writing only these points, surely don't worry. Evaluator is going to give you the marks. But it is better you can have the elaboration. Uh, kindly go through the elaborated notes possible i will share you the elaborated note in the uh, like a video description you can download it uh, then just a moment yeah so i i, I discussed about like a module 3 then uh, module 4 arm embedded systems the major topics are okay major topics are risk philosophy so what do you mean by risk philosophy you can make a note on the risk philosophy here you need to talk about like a few simple instruction or like opposite of CISC. ARM features you are supposed to study. Low power consumption, risk based, widely used in the mobile and embedded systems. Then AMBA bus protocol, standard ARM data transfer, memory and peripheral, flash memory, SRAM, GIPO, UART, ADC. Kindly elaborate it please. Next is software layers, boot code, then uh, operating system and appliances. ARM fundamentals you have to study, registers, these are the different type of registers, uh, R0 to R15, at least uh, study the functions of R0, R, R1, then uh, CPSR, current program status register, pipeline, what is a pipeline, what are the major segments of pipeline, then interrupts, FIQ and uh, IRQ, these are, this is also important, exception, software and hardware, uh, e like uh, events, that is also important, okay. So next I would like to talk about like important questions. Uh, explain the ARM design philosophy. What is AMBA bust and its classification or its type? Write a notes on CPSR or pipeline strategy uh, stages. Surely one or two questions will be asked in the examination. I can guarantee. Okay. Because these are the most popular questions. Nobody like uh, no like a uh, question paper setter uh, like uh, will avoid these kind of questions. Because it's a commonly asked questions in the several years also you can check out. So while checking the previous year question paper, these are the most probable question pair like uh, which I observed. Next is actually uh, ARM instruction set. Uh, the data processing instruction like uh, add, subtraction, move, CMP, compare, those uh, like instructions you need to remember. Next is what is LDR and STR. Software interrupts, the difference between hardware and software interrupts. To switch the supervisor mode, PSR instruction, access or modify the flags. Loading uh, con uh, like constraints using uh, move or LDR, 
uh, ARM extension, DSP instructions, conditional execution. These things you are supposed to go through that. Probable questions, what is syntax and example of any three instruction? What is add, move, LDR? Example, give some examples also. Conditional execution with the example. What is conditional execution? Give the examples. These are the examples you can note down. Software interrupts usage. What are the different type of software usage like interrupt? Important of software interrupt, difference between hardware and software interrupt. Those points you need to uh, remember. Uh, follow up these content. Surely, uh, no need to worry, you can clear the subject. So ultimately, you can prepare these shortcuts like embedded system, specific task uh, computer with the real-time constraint. Risk and CISC. Risk is very simple, where CISC processor is complex. RTOS means deterministic response operating system. Race condition, two thread access, same variable. AMBA, bus architecture in the ARM processor. CPSR, status register for fla like uh, flags. Pipeline, it is nothing but it follows the following segment, fetching, decoding, and execution. Add R1, R2, R3, ultimately the result will be like R2 and R3 will be added and that will be stored into R1. That is actually exactly happening in this particular operation. So this add, uh, like, uh, see, the uh, add, then sub, MOV, all are under data processing instruction. Talk about the data processing instruction very clearly. So you can plan this particular module in this way. Two hours, module one and two, you can clear. 1.4 hours, uh, uh, you can clear module three. Another two hours, you can dedicate for module four. Two hours, you can dedicate for module five. Last one hour, uh, uh, like uh, revise definition, word, question, answer, short notes, you can uh, refer. Surely, I promise you that within 24 hours, you can clear the subject without any doubt. After uh, like uh, ex getting experience, you please let me know whether uh, you achieved this target or not. So you have to already internal mark is given by the faculty members. So you have to mainly focus on the like semester university examination. At least 40 you are supposed to score. Okay. Uh, you can definitely if you follow this, you can uh, follow the strategy and clear the subject. I wish you all the very best for your examination. Request you to subscribe the channel for getting the similar kind of video. Uh, definitely I'm going to start a complete video on the embedded system. Don't worry. So give the like, uh, like button. Also give the comments for the better man. I wanted to improve further. So give your valuable comments. Also don't forget to share with the uh, like your peer members so that let them also get benefited of this video. Happy learning. I wish you all the very best for your examination. Have a great success. All the very best.